Here's an example of a coupon calculation. Let's assume face value is a thousand dollars. Coupon rate is eight percent. So semi annual cash flow is equal to thousand multiplied by point zero eight multiplied by half which is forty dollars. So in this case the bondholder will receive a payment of forty dollars every six months. Yield to mature a very very important concept in the study of bonds. Yield to maturity is the rate of return that an investor will get if he buys the bond at the prevailing market price and holds it till maturity. In order to get the yield to maturity, the investor or bondholder must satisfy two conditions. One, he must hold the bond till maturity and two, any coupon payment received before maturity must be reinvested at the yield to maturity itself. At any point in time, the yield to maturity may be greater than less than or equal to the coupon rate on the bond. Think of the yield to maturity as the internal rate of return or IRR of a bond. How do we value a bond? A bondholder will get a stream of contractually promised payments. So the value of the bond should be the value of the stream of contractually promised cash flows. The value of any security is the value of all cash flows emanating from it. However, you cannot simply add up cash flows arising at different points in time. This is because money has time value. Therefore, every cash flow has to be discounted before it is added. Which came first, price or yield? We don't know. Price versus yield is a chicken and egg story. We cannot say which comes first. If we, The way to look at it is the following. If we know the yield that we require, we will quote a price when we go to the market. If we get that price or a better price, we can work backwards and figure out the yield that we've actually been able to get. How do we value a bond? A bond is an instrument that will pay identical coupons every period, usually every six months, and will repay the face value at maturity. Your coupons which are equal cash flows at equally spaced intervals of time, obviously constitute an, annu an annuity. The terminal face value is a lump sum payment. Take the case of a bond that pays a semi-annual coupon of C by 2 and which has a face value of M. M is a symbol that's normally used for face value instead of F because F is used in the context of futures and options and M, which stands for maturity value, is used to represent the face value. Let's assume there are n coupons left and that we are standing on a coupon payment date. The significance of standing on a coupon payment date is that the first coupon has just been paid and the next coupon. The importance of standing on a coupon payment date is that one coupon has just been paid and that the next coupon is exactly six months away. If the required annual yield is Y, the corresponding semi-annual yield is Y by 2. What is the present value of the coupon stream? The present value of the coupon stream is the cash flow which is C by 2 divided by the discount rate which is R by 2 into 1 minus 1 over divided by the discount rate which is Y by 2 into 1 minus 1 over 1 plus Y by 2 to the power of N where N is the number of cash flows or the number of periods remaining till expiration. The present value of the face value is the present value of a lump sum payment of M 
m over 1 plus y by 2 to the power of n. So how do we value the bond? Add up the present value of the annuity and the present value of the lump sum and there, there you have the price of the bond. For instance, assume that IBM has issued a bond with a face value of $1000. Coupon is 8% per year to be paid on July 15th and January 15th every year. Most bonds pay interest on the 1st or the 15th of the month. And you can make out the coupon dates from a code sheet as follows. How do we make out the coupon dates from a code sheet? JJ stands for January and July. February and August, March and September, April and October, May and November, June and December. And within each, it could be an O1 or a 15. But in each case, it could be an O1 or a 1.5. So IBM is issued a bond with a face value of $1,000. Coupon is 8% per year to be paid on July 15th and January 15th every year. Assume that today is 15th July 2012. That is, today is a coupon date and a coupon has just been paid this morning. And the bond matures on 15 January 2032. Between 15 Jan July 2012 and 15 January 2032, there are 39 coupon dates. The required yield is 10% per annum. So how do we value it? Find the present value of the annuity and the present value of the lump sum. Let's go back to our Excel sheet. To calculate the present value of the annuity, let's use the PV function. What all does the PV function require? It requires the discount rate, which is the yield to maturity in this case, 10% of 5% per period. How many periods? There are 39 coupons left. How much is the payment? You are going to receive a coupon of 8%, which means $80 every year, which means $40, $40 every 6 months. So what do we do? We put minus 40. And we put the face value as minus 1000. Do not worry about type at this stage. Why did we put the values as negative? We have minus 40 and minus 1000 because in Excel, cash flows in one direction are positive and those in the other are negative. Therefore, if we show the inflows from the bond is minus we will get the price of the bond as a plus because the price is an outflow, it's an investment. You could do it the other way. You could show the inflows as positive, in, in which case the price will turn out to be negative. With that, we come to the end of this module. By now, you would know what a bond is all about, what do we mean by financial claims, what is the difference between debt and equity, what is the face value of a bond, what is the concept of a coupon rate, what do we mean by yield to maturity, and what is the difference between a conventional or a plain vanilla bond, 
and a bond with additional bells and whistles attached, such as a floating red bond. Thank you for your patience. Bye-bye.